Hey, Deck It Out DIYers. Let's look at this month's tray. So January's tray will come with two um, stands. I kind of, to me, they look like witch's feet. So there's two of them. Okay, you can use them for any of the project pieces. You will have five snowflakes that this will create a garland for you. Um, you will have this snowflake that will sit inside itself like that to make a three-dimensional snowflake that'll sit next to your tray. You will have a pair of ice skates. There's a hole here, so we'll give you some twine to tie those together. Um, there are going to be, I think, four pieces. Yes, four pieces that are taped together. So what you'll want to do is carefully untape them and keep all those pieces together. So when we send you your tray, we put all the pieces that go together, together with tape generally. Um, sometimes we saran them a little bit. So you'll pull these pieces off. Now keep this tape like this, because what I want you to do is I want you to take your small pieces and I want you to lay it out on the tape. And this is gonna help you paint your pieces, okay? So I'm just gonna tape all my pieces down um, that go to my snowman and he's a standing snowman. So he'll stand up like this and then this is his snowbank. And that's a large piece so I can, I can paint that separately. So repeat that same process with the rest of your pieces. Okay, once you get all of your pieces unpacked and taped down, we're gonna start painting. So I wanna kinda talk to you about a couple techniques that you can use throughout um, your process of painting. So you'll dab paint on your sponge, dab paint off, and then simply dab all of your pieces that you want to paint, okay? I'm going to paint every piece um, that's included in the kit, but sometimes you might like it with the color of wood it already is. So one thing to remember is less is more. So not a lot of paint. I'm, you'll see that right now I'm just dabbing in my discard pile. The, I dab over here into my paint. So my paint is off the screen right now, but then I dab it off over here. And you want like the thickness of tissue paper. A couple of things. The, these pieces are cut on a laser. So they have burnt edges, which means you don't need to cut them You cert or paint them. You certainly can, but you do not have to. The other thing thickness of tissue paper does for you is it won't have the paint dripping down the sides on those nice clean cut edges. Also, if you're painting with the thickness of tissue paper, you can do multiple layers in a short amount of time because it dries quickly. For these snowflakes, you're going to want to paint both sides. So paint one side first, let them dry really great, and then flip them over and you can paint the other side. Okay, so you saw that I kind of rolled right into painting my snowman. I'm going to show you um, how I usually paint my smaller pieces here. So I'm gonna take my paint, dab it. I dabbed it off, so I'm thickness of tissue paper, not a lot of paint, okay? Um, and I'm just gonna dab it there. And I'm just going to dab these dots. These circle dots are gonna go in his mouth, okay? Um, and then grab a clean sponge. I'm actually just gonna use the other side of this sponge I was just using. I'm just gonna do my orange on my nose. Now you saw in my snowman, I did paint that the nose there. We're gluing to that, so it doesn't matter if it's painted or not. I just kind of painted it because I was painting the whole, um, the whole snowman. Okay, so now you saw that I held the tape on the sides so that I could paint my little pieces without getting it all over my fingers. Okay, let's talk about painting this piece. Now these are etched in or um, engraved in lines. I'm going to um, kind of ombre this and I want my paint to be really light. Now, I do like to paint with baby wipes, so I can show you that too. If you have a baby wipe, get a little bit of paint on it, okay? And then I kind of make sure that the paint is kind of spread out. Um, 
and it's gonna give it like a really light look, like a little stained look. And then I'm just gonna kinda keep wiping it. Now, if that's too light of a look for you, you can definitely still use your sponge and then just dab the paint um, on, your, on your spot or on the project. Mine's a little bit um, dried out from our, my last project, so I'm just gonna get a little bit new, show you that too. Um, just with my little white sponge, just dabbing gently. Now you don't want a ton of paint because you don't want it to go in too much to those engraved lines. Now I told you I was gonna do a little bit of an ombre. The trick to that ombre is to keep your paint wet, okay? Your paint has to be wet so that you can continuously blend your colors. Okay, and right now I'm kind of going across my project. Let's see here. I'm gonna pick up some light blue. And when I've done this before, I kind of use my finger as well to kind of help blend it. Just like so. Okay, and then as I work, I'm gonna get more and more of the blue on this other side. Okay, so I'm gonna just keep bringing this blue down and then I can go back and if I wanna add more purple, I can, or the periwinkle, I can. So I'm just gonna keep kind of blending. Now right here where there isn't any etching, that's where our snowman is going to go. Okay, so he's gonna be there. So I wanna kind of soften up these lines a little bit so I don't see those going across as much. Okay, before I move on, I'm just laying my snowman over the top to make sure I like the coloring. Um, my paint, because I painted very lightly and I kept wiping it off, is very dry. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and assemble this project um, right now because it is dry and I'm happy with the coloring. So to assemble, you're just going to piece everything together. You're gonna to put a little bit of glue on the back of each piece and then lay it down. Because this project right here is very um, simple with its design, I am just going to, um, I feel like this one goes on this side. I am just going to lay it, lay it down. Normally I tell you to lay all the pieces out before you place them, but this one, um, there isn't a lot of pieces that could really go anywhere else. So just check your arms like I was just doing. Check your arms, make sure they go on the correct way, um, and then lay all your pieces down. For the dots on the mouth, I'm going to put the glue in the hole, and then I'm going to drop the pieces in. Okay, so there's his cute little nose. And then I'm just going to drop some glue in these pieces. Now this is super glue. It will glue your fingers together. Um, and these little dots can be finicky. So just kind of take your time with it. I do like to have an X-Acto knife on hand so I can kind of use that to help me get my little dots in. But other than that, you should be good to go. And then your first project will be done. All right, moving on to our next project. This is a double house. Um, so here are the pieces. I'm gonna paint one side white. Um, and on this side where we're gonna paint white, I want you to just go really lightly over the lettering um, so you can still see it. Now at the end, if you are unhappy with like the coverage, if it covered too much, um, you can always take a Sharpie once your paint is dry and um, go over the lines just to make them stand out a little bit more. But I'm just gonna go really lightly over, see if I can, if I like how it is. Um, and if not, at the end, I will go over in another color in a marker or um, with my X-Acto knife and some paint. 
and get that to show up. The snow place will be um, these cutout letters down here. And so we will be cutting and painting or painting those and then gluing them on top. So you don't have to be too careful with these letters here, just the theirs like home. Okay, so you saw that I did finish this project as well. We, I am missing right now the base, but you will have included with your kit a base, and then you will paint it if you would like and glue it together and then put this house or the double house in the base. Um, and then this is your next project, super cute. So, so far we have three completed projects. We have the houses, we have the snowman looking up on the round, and then I do have my snowflakes that sit together, that completed. Um, for painting the garland snowflakes, just paint those as you as you would like. Um, the holes at the top are so we can string through, and then the garland can go around one of the layers of your tree. Um, we have three more projects after this one to paint. Okay, so I'm gonna work on this Let It Snow project. Um, I'm going to do this background again in that ombre. So I'll start with that one um, and kind of work my way down. So I'm going to start with the, maybe I'll start with navy this time. So it's a little bit darker at the top. Um, and not too much because I was thinking I would do navy as my letters. But maybe I'll get the navy up here at the top. Now... I'm not so concerned about the circle dots in there. I mean, they're a nice detail, but I'm going to be less concerned about those as I was the house sign. Um, because if I want, I could come back and um, fill them in with white paint if I wanted. I'm gonna kind of blend this as I go, just so I don't get it too dark as I fill this in. Um, so I'm not going to worry too much about those dots, but I am trying to not fill them in completely with paint, um, just so that I can have that added texture, which will be fun. So this is turning out darker than I had hoped. So I'm going to try to get some more of this purpley color and lighten it up. Um, but remember, if it doesn't turn out the way you were, had in your mind, you can always paint over it, which is a really nice thing. It's just paint. Okay. All right, let's dive into one of our final projects is the snowman. He's super fun. So same thing that we have been doing um, with painting. And then let's take a look when we get closer to this, you melt my heart um, sign. And I'll show you how I'm going to paint that special. So first let's just paint like we have been. Um, and then I'll give you a little tutorial on painting the sign. Okay, so let's take a look at You Melt My Heart. It's actually a log, and um, I really want it to just be really lightly done. So I'm using a baby wipe, and I'm just going to smear the paint over the top. And then I'm going to go back with my X-Acto knife, and I'm going to kind of pull in, whoops, pull in from the crease um, or the engraved line. And if I can't see it very well, which I'm, it might not work as well um 
or if your lines aren't dark enough, then um, I would recommend, once it's dry, going in with a small, fine tip Sharpie um, and putting a little bit of color in there so you can um, see it a little bit better. But what I did was just used a baby wipe, very little brown, kind of so it gives it a stained look. Um, and now I'm going into those grooves with my X-Acto knife. Okay, the skates are our last project. So paint them however you would like. And then um, we will have that string to tie these together along with tying on his sign um, and then tying for our garland. So we'll do that part last. Okay, in your kit, we will be giving you um, um, a good amount of some twine. Um, I'm gonna not start with these because this paint is still a little bit wet. Um, but what you'll just, you'll do is you'll take your, your string or your twine and, um, these holes are rather small, but you'll need to use like, um, a sharp edge to push the thread twine through. Um, and then you'll just tie the strings onto his hands and, um, attach them there for his little sign that he holds. It's so cute, you guys. I hope you just love it. So this is the final steps in the, in the tray is to, um, just put together all of the pieces that have string. Um, and you could do, I was thinking I was just gonna do, I mean, maybe if I went through the backside, it would be better. So kind of play with it how you want it. Um, to pull it through and then, yeah, tie it up. Make sure you do your garland and then your skates. If you want to tie those together, super fun. And then we'll put the tray together. All right, there we have it. Our garland, our skates, our three-dimensional snowflake, our snowman that says you melt my heart, let it snow, snow place like home, and this circle snowman looking up to the sky. So fun. I hope you enjoyed creating um, your tiered tray for this month. Drop into the Deck It Out DIYers Facebook group. Share with us your project. We are excited to hear from you and see, from, see your project. Um, and we'll see you guys next month.